Now, I know I didn't pick the best day to do this, but I've got spider cracks in this aluminum tank here. One coming out here, there, and the problem, the reason is, I think, is because the weld here is on this side and not on that side. And I don't know who decided that when they welded it, but it's been suggested to me to try some aluminum brazing to see if that works. Now, I've got this all shined up here. I took a stainless steel um, wire wheel on my drill and shined it up, and then on the Dremel tool as well, so I went in there and tried to clean everything up as best as possible. Supposedly you can get aluminum brazing rod from Home Depot. I happened to uh, acquire this from Dad. Dad bought it a long time ago, probably in a galaxy far, far away. I figure I'd lay a big piece on the inside here. Hmm. It's hard to cut. Very hard. Very hard. Lay a big piece on the inside here. And then puddle around and see if I can fix the cracks. Now, I've never done this before, and kind of a crappy day out to be doing this, but supposedly you got to get this pretty darn hot. So, I'm going to use a map gas torch here, the yellow one, not the blue one. And we're going to hit it. It's going to kind of heat everywhere, heat everything. Maybe low to high, I don't know. I kind of see it melting a little bit. A little melty. Technically, this is flexless, but I'll believe that when I see it. It's melted, but it doesn't look like it's sticking. It certainly doesn't look like it's going to seal a crack. To me, that looks like it needs flux, because it just does not look like it's adhering well to the, the thing here. Let's see. Yeah, all right. There's no adherence there, nothing. The material itself seems strong, but... Yeah, a little bit of adherence here. No, nope. not much at all. So to me, it looks like I need flux on that. Now I got some regular old flux on here. I'm gonna heat that, see if it helps. didn't work so good. Big fat zero there. That's not how the video went online. Hmm. So I got a little practice here. I did this one. You have to heat the heck out of it. Um, that's kind of the first thing. And then you have to use the rod to kind of force it to stick almost. Um, because inherently it really doesn't want to stick. It's it's not like solder that'll just puddle and flatten out. It really doesn't want to do that. Let's use a bigger rod. I've got assorted size rods here, so we're gonna see how they all work. But you gotta keep the torch on for a long time and make sure the whole thing is really evenly heated. Now this 
side doesn't have the spider cracks on it, but what it does have, it only has the weld here on one side, so I want to extend this in here if I can. And you kind of test it. Well, you don't want to melt the rod necessarily with the torch. You just want to get the aluminum hot enough. Yeah, well, there you go. See, now it actually kind of spread a little bit. Yeah. almost don't want the heat on it while you're fiddling. And there, let's grab the next rod. Nice to have the longer rod here. <laughs> okay. uh, you want to spread it. There we go. Go in there. Good. Come around. And that should actually be plenty strong. Now. I think you can fiddle this with this forever. But now at least I've got the back side filled in here, and that'll help that be a lot stronger. Now we've got to flip it to the back to the other side and see if we can actually fix the spider cracks. So I've got the whole thing wire wheeled off now. And this is still warm, so it'll hopefully be a little easier to apply the heat. I have spider cracks on both sides that just want to go out. Almost. I can feel it start to stick. Almost sticky. There we go. Back the heat off a little bit. There. Now it's pinned. There we go. That's nice patch over the that I'm happy with. Look at that. I can drag some excess down. Let's get this pinned over here. Now it wants to puddle, of course, but... But that may actually be a fine patch. Wow.
gravity does tend to pull it around. So use that to your advantage. There we go. Ha! Now we flip it around and do the other one. Do the final one here. This one's probably the worst. Push it around a little bit, make sure it's you're almost forcing it to stick. You get that nice feathered edge there. Considering it's my first time doing this, this isn't bad. It looks nice, nice puddle. It really is best to work with it basically when the heat isn't even on it. leaks a drop I'm not gonna be that worried if it leaks a lot of drops then I'm definitely worried but I think that's gonna be fine don't burn yourself thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe